All right. Hello. Good morning and welcome to Good Magic Morning. My name is James and I will be playing with you today. Uh, today we are trying to claw our way out of um, our current rank diamond, ranked uh, tier one diamond uh, in constructed, seeing if we can finally get into Mythic before the season closes. So let me go ahead. I'm going to share my uh, magic screen here, my arena screen. Boom, there we are. So taking a look at my profile, just to take a look at where we are. Diamond, tier one, it's right there. Give me, I'm gonna move the camera a little bit so I can get the mic in here a little closer. Diamond, tier one, I've got one, one bar up. I've been up and down. I didn't record much yesterday. I was busy with my kids all day, but I did get a chance to play some and I basically bounced up and down, up and down. So I'm really trying to get these next five wins to get the heck out of here and probably won't have five in a row. Uh, competition's tight. It's very fierce at the top here. And so I'm really doing my best to, to break through and, and get him. Um, so ride the, ride the wave with me today here, primarily, uh, perhaps only going to be playing mono red, um, trying to get it to pull through. Uh, it's one of the strongest archetypes, if not the strongest in, in the, um, meta currently for standard. So we're going to rock it and hope that we can get it. So let's just kick it off here today without much fanfare thanks for tuning in thanks for watching uh again i imagine nobody's going to actually log in i don't promote this at all i don't know how to go about promoting it i'm just recording it for the heck of it for my own pleasure and fun to be quite frank um if someday people come back and watch this because the channel somehow got big awesome highly doubt it but if you're watching from the future how is the future what are the current magic sets like do we have flying cars yet who won the 2024 elections here we go so Good opening hand for the most part. I don't have a creature to pair with Kamano, but that's not going to stop me from using it. Um, so we'll go ahead and get Kamano out there. Uh-oh. Just had a, a unfortunate and, and kind of weird thing happen that does happen for me. My monitor went out. I've got a, um, a gigabyte, 34-inch widescreen, ultra-widescreen monitor, uh, a G34. Or another. But it has the um, unfortunate... Uh, bug that it, it, it tends to go out every once in a while. It tends to um, mess up and uh, go blank, and then it kind of screws up everything. I have to turn it off manually and restart it, and it's a real pain in the butt. So I'm going to have to redo my um, screen size here. There we go. And everything's a little choppy right now, a little laggy. Hopefully it's not too bad on the feed. It's getting... Pick them back up, clean them back up. So we're playing a mirror match here. At least, thank God, I get to go first. Um, I have been placed up against several, several mirror matches at this point and have been having just piss poor luck with them uh, because I've always been put second. So it's really nice to be going first right now. We're going to bring out Squee going wide uh, rather than deep. Um, still three damage for the turn, but it's um, in the form of two creatures instead of Godric and Squee gets to crank out more in the future. So it's a better setup. I may win this race. He's going to have to get on his back foot now, which he does not want to do. I'm sure that's nice for him to get that though. So he's leaving a blocker open. Um, we'll see if I can get some mana. No, uh, no mana. That's okay. We're going to, um, we're going to play a Godric. Because Godric is going to pair nicely with Squee when Squee attacks. Should win the game for me. There it is. Good game. Scoop. These mirror matches with, with um, red deck wins, with mono red, they're brutal, man. It really is, I would say, 90% of the time, 95% of the time, whoever gets to go first. As long as somebody didn't keep a shitty hand, it's whoever gets to go first. Because it's just really hard to do enough damage on um, the draw first end of things uh, to, to overtake a whole turn's worth of damage. It's very, very, very hard. So that guy didn't stand much of a chance. He was playing well. His his hand was strong, but I had a an equally strong hand, if not a little stronger, and I got to go first. So that was that was it for him, unfortunately. So let's go again. That's two bars into um, the uh, two bars into the the rank um, tier one. Let's see if I can get some more wins. Vicaria. Coming out of it looks I've I think that's he's in tier three from the looks of the the token or avatar. This is not a great ham. I'm gonna keep it. Um and we're gonna see how it does. We'll hopefully draw into some good stuff. It's not a bad ham, but as far as it goes, it's not a great hand either. It's just 
That's good. It's a good hand. Um, charming scoundrel. I think I want to go. Um, wicked token on. Yeah, we're gonna go wicked token on on it. Again, sort of spreading out the threat. I always like to keep the threats as widely spread as possible so that any removal has to um, pick and choose really carefully and ends up, you know, usually not um, having much success with. See, so if I had put it on the Swiss spear, it would have been, it would have kind of sucked. Um, so here comes Godric, number one. Pleased about that. Let's see if I can get out either next turn at Swift Spear plus Lightning Strike, or if I can get another permanent on the board, it'll be Swift Spear plus permanent, and that'll let me get Godric up in the air and a little bit bigger. We'll see. So far, going pretty well. Turn three, seven damage. It's not amazing. I'd, I'd like to be, um, I like to be at like ten damage or more. Turn three, if I can, twelve damage, but um, it's doing okay. Push. There goes Godric. Sorry, Gotti. Gotti Rick. Okay, that's okay. We're going to put out Squee now. Again, going wider rather than deeper. Um, I love Squee just for that exact reason. Um, okay, interesting. I don't know what deck I'm playing against. I don't know what Kaido Shizuki. I mean, I, I associate with him with like ninja decks. I have no idea what this current list is that I'm playing against. Um, I don't know if he's going to. Huh. Interesting all around. Uh, eight life. I can... I've got five damage on the board. Got to do three more. Yeah, that's game. I was like, I don't... I don't know what he's going to do. That was probably going to be a Swift Spear plus a Lightning Bolt for me. But... Uh, or excuse me, a Lightning Strike. I always call it a Lightning Bolt. That comes from the years of Magic I've played. The majority of which... The vast majority of which have been using Lightning Bolts, not Lightning Strikes. Uh, I started playing around 96 with the um, Ice Age was in rotation and then um, rotation. I, I don't even know they had rotations then, but Ice Age was out and then they released Mirage. Um, so I was right around the release of Mirage, the end of Ice Age uh, block, if you will. And um, obviously lightning bolts were, you know, super crucial and super common. Just a, a very normal card. It's so interesting how magic has changed over the years. In a lot of ways, it's ramped up in power. There are ridiculously powerful cards, but then a lot of what were considered common cards back then are considered overpowered now. Counterspell, Dark Ritual, Lightning Bolt, Swords to Plowshares. Those were always great cards, but nowadays they're they're sort of too powerful. Um, or, or even think about the Power 9. I mean, when the game first came out, obviously it was unbalanced. Alpha, Beta, Unlimited. Uh, it was not yet a, a super balanced, coherent, card game um and they had no idea where it was going to go in the future i'm sure and so those cards didn't look to be that op although really quickly it, you know as people actually started playing the game they realized just how powerful it was i think i've got a i got a um copy of an inquest magazine back in 90 probably christmas of 96 mm, thereabouts that um had you know in the back of it if anybody's old school magic um in the back of it they had price a price guide so like every card of magic, which they couldn't do now, right? It would be a whole book, but but they could fit it on the last like 10 pages of, of the magazine. Um, they'd have a price guide showing each card and um, that, that was currently in print and what it was worth approximately with like, you know, different values going from poor up to, to, to mint. Black Lotus back then, I, I, it was probably in like moderate to, to um, excellent condition. I remember being like somewhere around 360 bucks. Can you imagine snagging black lotuses for $360 back then? But all that to say, $360 back then wasn't inexpensive, right? Um, and so in a sense, you get you know, a very clear idea there that, that it's already quite a bit more expensive than, than you would expect. This is a conundrum, Warden of the Sky. Um, it's really hard not to go ahead and, and kill it because of how big it gets. I hate to waste Kamano, though. So I'm going to get Felden out with Kamano, um, and we'll see what I need to do. I'm not sure. I, I, I feel very strongly that I could have and should have worked the nuked the Warden. Um, the Warden is a, is a real threat. There is a chance, a small chance, that he's not going to get out enough creatures or artifacts to tap it, though. So um, we'll see. He's got to get out two other creatures and or artifacts. 
There he goes. He's got it. So unfortunately, he gets to tap the warden. Good for him. Um, that is a bummer, but uh, there's nothing to be done about it now. I was playing another warden. There you go. So he really can um, tap these these guys out. Uh, I just don't think I want to put the um, play with fires towards his um, his creatures. Um, I, I, those are much better sent to the dome. So tapping out with it anyway, which is great. He's going to let me attack. Um, not really bothering to slow me down there. Um, so I guess we'll do another Kamano. And, um, we'll go to town on him with, with these guys. We'll hold off on the play with fire. We'll see what comes of it. We're going to let him have his turn and that'll let me know whether I need to direct it at a creature or at him. Currently I could get him down to two life with those, um, so I'm going to encourage him to go ahead and, and step it up and, and attack. Hopefully he'll go ahead and get an attack in. Um, he might leave a blocker, might save a play with fire for that. We'll, we'll have to wait and see. Ganjo, we're playing a close game here. Convoke, Boris Convoke right now is so hot, and it is good. I got my ass beat earlier today. Uh, hold on, let me read this. I forget what this does. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's a bummer. Huh. Crap. I think I'm going to let it slide. I'm going to let him nuke my Felden, I guess, or the etching. I don't, I'm not sure which. Again, I've just got to get two damage across. This may make him feel emboldened to... Um... Yeah, I'm, I'm glad he chose Felden, frankly. Uh, and I, I hope he goes all out and attacks. He probably won't. I wish he would. Um, we'll get the lightning strike here. Lightning strike seals the deal for me. I know what I need to do. All the damage to the head. If he taps for the... Yeah, that's a, that's a fucking mistake on his part. Um, I'm just debating whether I even let him do it or whether I nuke the warden, but I, I think I let him do it, man. Fuck it. I think I've got him regardless, but it's tough. He's thinking now, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Is he going to attack? He is not going to go ahead and bolt him. Excuse me, strike him. As you can see, that muscle memory is quite strong. One. Two. Good game. Three. Okay. Another win. Doing well so far today. I hope it looks really laggy on my YouTube stream. I hope it's not actually that laggy. I don't know. We're about to find out. Um, in fact, I may end the stream and restart it. Let's do that. 